If you play in the NBA, you're one lucky human being. NBA players get more money per year on average than any other group of athletes in the major sports leagues in the United States. But for some reason, Draymond Green of the Golden State Warriors thinks that if you play in the NBA, you're not set up to be wealthy once you've retired. For MRC TV, I'm John Simmons and welcome to the woke world of sports. Green appeared on an episode of Shaquille O'Neal's The Big Podcast with Shaq last week, and one of the topics of discussion was how much NBA players get fined. I think it was game two. Jamal Murray gets upset, throws a towel on the court. Then he gets upset, he throws a heat pack on the court. The rulings, we fine you 100000 It's okay. What if that was Draymond Green? What would happen? Green himself has dealt with financial discipline from the league several times this year. Between suspensions and fines for unacceptable conduct, which included choking Rudy Gobert and slapping Yusuf Nurkic, he lost over $2 million in fines. That's certainly a lot of money, but a guy like him can handle it. After all, his base salary last season alone was $22.3 million, and his total career earnings are close to $178 million. So he's still sitting pretty and could live comfortably on that for years to come. But Green doesn't believe that. For no apparent reason, he told O'Neal that he thinks the NBA doesn't enable its players to accumulate wealth for when they retire because of its fining system. I'm never in favor of guys getting suspended. I'm, I, the, the fines to me don't make sense. You know, when you talk about as hard as we work to accumulate wealth, coming from situations that most people never make it out, and then you get fined the way we get fined, it's actually not set up for us to be wealthy after we're done playing. This job is not set up the way we're taxed. Oh, California? The, like, oh. the way we're taxed, the way we're fined, <laughs> the things that's put ahead, this, this job ain't never been set up for us to be wealthy after we're done playing. And you know, you hear about all these programs, like this program, this, this program, that is to cover everybody. This program is to teach this guy this. But if I do something wrong, I lose $100,000. Man, it took my mom three years when I, four, four years when I was growing up to make $100,000. And I lose that in the night because, what? Like, the fines are, I, the referee got mad at me. And so, and he didn't like what I said to him. So I lose $5,000 like that, like on a tech. I'm seriously curious if he was high when he said that because it's absurd in every possible way. First, the league doesn't tax players once they get paid. That's up to the state that the players live in. Every American citizen has to deal with that, not just NBA players. Additionally, Draymond seems to imply that getting fined is something that the NBA just does randomly with no warning and that it's a standard part of what happens in a year for players. That's simply not the case. As hard as it might be to believe, the NBA has standards for how its players must behave. If you don't meet those as a player, there are consequences. I got suspended. I, I, I tried to hit Brian, got suspended from game five of the finals. I missed. You tried to hit him? I damn right I tried to hit him. You step over him, I'm a grown man, you will step over my shoulder. But here's the good news. You can avoid getting fined. Just don't yell at referees, don't put people in a chokehold, and don't slap your opponents. These are all things within every player's control, including Green. It's also not the league's fault that he's repetitively chosen to act like a moron. If Green has made almost $200 million in his career and somehow thinks he doesn't have enough money to live on once he stops playing, he's living in an alternate reality. But then again, Green seems to live in his own world anyway. So folks, what do you think? Was my analysis a home run or was it a big swing and a miss? Feel free to leave your comments and subscribe to our social media channels that still let you see our content. And always remember, be on your A-game and don't cave to the woke agenda in sports. For MRC TV, I'm John Simmons. I want to invite you as my guest on a very special, once-in-a-lifetime, seven-day post-election cruise in the Caribbean. Caribbean.
it's going to be a blast.